Howdy. My name is Herb and welcome to uh, This Week in Herb's Workshop. This week I'm uh, working on a little steam engine. It's designed uh, by uh, Myford Boy in, uh, in England. And I purchased the uh, plans and the uh, casting which casting consists of the flywheel and the base and everything else uh, I need to make. So, uh, I have some video on, uh, on this that we'll uh, insert, but uh, one of the first things I did was the, uh, the two bearings that go on either side of the casting. Uh, this one goes on that side and this one goes on this side and uh, and your flywheel which is here goes goes through that so the and this is uh, the uh, the crank and uh, so it it sets like that actually like that and uh, the flywheel which I haven't started on yet Then I did the uh, cylinder, and we have some video here on that. Uh, the cylinder is turned from one inch uh, brass bar, and it's milled out on top. OK. 
Okay, working on the uh, piston rod. Uh, I tapped this to uh, a quarter twenty, and I cut a thread relief with a shoulder, so it should uh, sit down on the uh, the piston uh, square and uh, be true to the uh, the bore of the uh, the piston. This is the uh, valve chest. Uh, this on top is an oiler and there's a little top with a little knurled uh, side on it or knurling on there so you screw it on. Uh, so you, you uh, when you run the engine you place some oil down in there to oil the, the valve in the cylinder and this goes back and forth. Of course, the uh, uh, so that that fits on there uh, uh, like like that. Let's see. Go ahead. What I'm making here is a jig to uh, put a, a slot in the end of this quarter inch uh, uh, drill rod, which will be the, uh, the piston, uh, end of the piston rod. And uh, so I'm making a jig so I can hold it on the saw to saw it. And I'm, uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to drill two holes for uh, set screws, or grub screws as the, uh, the British call it. Uh, and we're going to uh, drill and tap it for uh, uh, probably 832, something like that, whatever I've got. I think I've got some... Uh, Thirty-two screws. Let's do that. Starter drill here. And they don't have to be in any particular position, but we'll uh, see how it goes here.
Where's all that phone call about? That text I got anything. Yes, I did. Yes. 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 Here we are on the uh, the bandsaw, and let's see how this. Works. Done deal. So it goes, goes like that. So the next thing I need to do is silver solder this down to uh, to the cylinder. And when we get the castings uh, here this week, uh, we'll uh, machine those. We need to build a couple little uh, crank arms and the valve arms and we can uh, put this thing together and plumb it up and see how she runs. This is the piston with the piston uh, rod uh, on it and it's a uh, brass piston with a uh, tool steel quarter inch tool steel uh, uh, rod and on each end of this, this goes down on this end and is attached with uh, three 256 uh, cap head set screws. And this one goes down on this end. So, and the rod comes through here like this. See if I can get it through. Anyway, this. Uh, will be pressed in there and, and, uh, and secured with the screws and the uh, next thing here is the uh, slide valve and that fits in there and slides back and forth for the uh, valve timing um, and it it will sit on there like that. This sits on there like that. Actually, like that. And so we've got most everything done. The, the casting should be here this week. They're coming from Eagle. And uh, I talked to David on email uh, a couple of times last week, and uh, he uh, he said that take about ten days. So they should be here this week. 
and we'll finish this thing up.